we're doing an ASMR video. We're going to be looking at my Vinyl Doll collection. Um, somebody requested it. Um, their name is probably in the description. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. Thank you for suggesting that. Also, somebody else who will also be in the description um, mentioned that I should do soft-spoken ASMR. Um, I haven't done one of those yet. I've only ever whispered in videos. So it's going to be just like not quite whispering, but like right in between regular speaking and whispering. So I might fluctuate between whispering and soft-spoken. Um, but this is a little bit easier on my voice anyways. And I don't have to project as much when I'm whispering. So I kind of like it this way. Also, one other thing before we get started. Um, let's, let's just pull this one out for the, for the freaking thumbnail or something. Okay. So, before we get started, um, I wanted to mention... So, I found out the other day that YouTube is allowed to put ads on my videos, even though I'm not part of the YouTube Partner Program, because I haven't, like, reached milestones or whatever. But, basically, I'm not gonna get any of that money, so any money that is made from watching ads, like you guys watching ads before my videos, will, all of that money will go to YouTube. So, basically, all that I ask of you is, if you see an ad on any of my videos that you watch, um, do anything you can to skip them, because YouTube doesn't need to take money from me, even though I can't make money, and it's also, like, three cents a video right now, so, just d don't give the money to YouTube if you can, which means don't watch the ads if you can. If not, understand. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you for doing that if you can. Okay, anyways, so, I'm just gonna kind of go in order of, so this is my collection of vinyls that I have, specifically. These are my dad's collection, and then these are, like, really, really old ones. So I'm just gonna go through the collection that I have right here, and, yeah, so we'll start with, I'm gonna kind of keep them in the case, because I, I don't really want to take them out, because it's gonna take way too long, and this video is already almost three minutes, so, basically, this is, uh, Naya Kahan's Stick Season, pretty good album. I haven't actually taken this out and listened to it on the record player, which is right up here. I haven't listened to this on the vinyl, but I have listened to it all the way through and on just on I, Apple Music. So it's got the album cover that you've probably seen if you've listened to this album that just died. That's pretty cool. that I love about vinyl specifically is that it always has like extra images and this one is like the, the I don't know if where the glare is but this one has like the back of a barn so it's like the front and this is the barn and then in the back is the back of the barn 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 which is pretty cool so and I think on the inside there's a, like a map of Vermont I can't remember but there's like something really cool on the inside there's like an extra page and most vinyls have something, like, special, like, extra, because you bought the vinyl, which is pretty cool. This one's just a black vinyl, but I think it's really cool. There's also, like, a green edition, I think, but this one's pretty cool. So, now, take some of that. These are kind of, like, in order of when I bought them, so. Next one is Post Malone's most recent album, Austin. So... Just a picture of him at his in his pool in front of his house. And his truck is back there too. I also have oh for this album. Also, I also got the cassette. So it's just got the little cutout of him. It's just little and cute. And I, I really like this, the album cover, I like it a lot. It's a little awesome on the back. This is it on the side, too. I really like this cassette. I like it a lot. On the back is the front of his truck. This is like the windshield, and this is the hood the grill down there, and I also like that it lists all of the songs on each album, 
on somewhere, usually on the cover of the vinyl. So yeah, it's so pretty cool. I, I really like this album a lot. There's a lot of really cool ones. There's like some obscure stuff that he hasn't really done before. And I don't know how I feel about it, but I think he's kind of moving to his country. But it's Post Malone, so I'm probably going to like whatever he does. Justin Bieber's Justice album. I really like this album. Um, I didn't really like Justin Bieber for like the longest time. And then this album came out. It's really freaking good. And I love like every song on it. So this is one of my favorite albums that I have. Especially on vinyl. And then the back is just a different picture of him. It's all the songs listed. This one is one of my favorites, John Mayer's Sob Rock album. Pretty, pretty darn good. I really like John Mayer. And this album, like, coming out fairly recently, like, most of the songs that I had listened to from him were, like, really old, because he, he's old. But this one's really good, and it came out fairly recently. I'm actually not sure when it came out. 2021. That's when I graduated high school. kind of dusty. I should probably dust them off. But I really like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to make sure that didn't stop recording. But I really like that the back just looks like it's like the rest of the room that he's in or like a different corner of the room. I really, I really like finals. Can you tell? Alright. This is one of my favorite like alternative pop kind of rock-ish albums um, from 21 Pilots, Scaled and Icy. Absolutely loved this album. I actually saw them live in Missouri for their Scaled and Icy tour, so that was like my second ever concert. Still my favorite concert ever. They're so good live. Also freaking love this font that they have on here. It's so good. What the heck? And there are some on this album that I don't love as much, but it's like so different from any other music that I really listen to, so I love all of it. At some point, there's a mood that I'm in where I like each of them. And moving on, this one I think might have been one of the first that I ever got. It's Juice World's Legends Never Die. It's kind of a strange one to have on vinyl because it's rap, but he's one of my favorite artists, and... Actually, I have a tattoo that is in reference to one of his quotes, so. I think this one has some cool art on the inside. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at the inside of most of these in a while, because I haven't got any vinyls recently, but. Pretty sure there's something cool in there. So, yeah. And this one's like a beefy boy. Because I think there's four, no, there's two vinyls in there, so. There's a lot of songs on that album. Okay, and then this one. One of my favorite albums, I think, ever, probably. It's Mike Posner's A Really Good Kid. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it right now. It's so freaking good. He basically started writing it after his dad died. So it's like kind of about just how he was feeling and how his life changed and how things were going at the time and just kind of the person that he became because of his dad's death. So. If you want to just listen to one song on this album, listen to Perfect. Hands down, best song on this album. Unless... No, yeah, it's that one. Great album, though. Go listen to it. 
Okay, and now last one. One of my favorite bands pretty much ever. Um, Glass Animals, Dreamland. You've probably heard Heat Waves because that's the only song anyone knows by them. But there are so many good songs in this album. If you haven't heard Helium, um, if you haven't heard I Don't Want to Talk, um, let's see, what else? Tangerine, that's a good one. If you like um, Heat Waves, Tangerine's also a good one. Hot Sugar, bro, all of these songs are so freaking good. Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, Tokyo Drift, what the heck, they're all so good. And so this is, this one's actually really cool because this is the front and that's like the back of his head. So it's like one coherent, you can like kind of see, it's like one coherent movement, it's so cool. And this one I actually am going to take out because it's like a special vinyl, which is, it's really cool. Let's see, where is it? There it is. And so, one of the things actually, where's the top? Most of these will have like a sleeve that they're in, which is so freaking cool. And this one's really cool. Um, and then most of them will also have like a thing that shows all the lyrics too, which is cool. And this is like a, another version of, I think these are all the band members, just in that same uh, vibe as the album cover. So, pretty cool. And then this vinyl is freaking sick. So it's like, it kind of looks like it would be glow in the dark. I don't actually know if it is, but these images, as you spin the vinyl, it like looks like an animation because it's like each frame of an animation. I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it's super cool. So um, this will be fun to put back. <laughs> don't cringe at me too much. I'm just going to do that. And that is the end, 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 end of today's video. So, thank you so much, so much for watching this video because you are amazing. And if you've come to the end of this video, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day or night with whatever you're going to do later on today. Anyways, that's it, 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 that's it. Goodbye.